Good morning, St. Nick's. So nice to be with you again. Now, this is nearly the final week of assembly. So we have one week left next week, and then we are into our summer holidays. It's gone so fast. It's been great to have all of our year sixes in and our key workers, but I have definitely missing the rest of you. And so I am very excited about our picnics next week and being able to see you all, even if it is just for a little while before we go on our summer holidays. And then this week we have had our tours with our year twos. So they've been coming around to see our school and having met lots of them, they are very excited about starting in September. And so I know that you will all be very excited about seeing all of those new people to our school. Now this week, our theme is on respect. And I'm gonna to talk to you about a little story but this story is more like a play than an actual story. So as I'm reading it, I am not actually going to be me. I am going to be reading it in the voice of a lion. Now I'm not going to actually act the character of the lion. So I just want you to pretend that I am a lion as I am speaking. Respect. I expect nothing less. All respect the queen of the African plains. If the zebra or the antelope catch sight of me crouching in the bush, they do not forget to gallop. The elephant and the rhino respect me, and they mind not to tread on my children with their big clumsy feet. Even the snappy crocodile stays clear of me when I come drown to drink at the water. Yes, respect is good. That is why I was so angry when a pesky little fellow failed to show me respect. Buzz. The mosquito buzzed around my ears and even stung me on the nose. I snapped at the horrid little traitor and I bit my tongue. Oh, how that hurt. Then I struck at him with my paw. Such a blow that would fell a buffalo. But he slipped through my claws and he was laughing at me. Then he bit me on the bottom. The cheek of it. Oh, great queen, said the mosquito, bow your head before your master. I, the mosquito, have drunk your blood and defeated you in combat. I roared an almighty roar that sent the wildebeest and the giraffe scattering across the savannah. The mosquito just laughed and he flew backwards into a spider's web. The spider showed respect to his queen by eating the wretched insect. A little while after this, I was lying asleep under a tree when I felt something tickling my nose. I opened one eye and I saw that a mouse had scampered onto my face. How dare you, I roared, and I was about to swipe him a deadly blow with my paw when the mouse begged. Oh, mighty queen, forgive me. I was running through the long grass and did not mean to run onto your nose or disturb your sleep. I laughed at this furry creature and said, little fellow, I was about to kill you, but you have shown wisdom and respect for your queen. I pardon your sin. Oh, thank you, thank you, said the mouse. I only hope that one day I may be of service to your majesty. I laughed again, for how could a little mouse help out a mighty queen? The weeks went by and I was out for a midnight stroll when all of a sudden there was no ground beneath my paws. Thump, I fell to the bottom of a pit. I tried to spring out, but I was tangled in a net. The more my limbs struggled, the more I became entangled. A hyena came by and saw me in this sorry trap. He cackled with his ugly voice and he taunted me. In the morning, the men shall come and throw their spears into your side then we shall have to find a new queen. I snarled with fury and swore to tear him apart when I was free from the snare, but he just laughed his silly laugh. Towards morning, I'd almost given up hope when I heard a little voice. My queen, it said, at last I may be of service to you. I saw the pink nose of the mouse. My loyal subject, it does my proud heart good to hear your well-meaning words. But I am afraid you must now pay your last respects to your queen, for my limbs are caught in this net, and very soon the sun will rise and the men shall come to kill me. You underestimate the might of a mouse, said my loyal subject. 
he called to his wife and children, and together they gnawed through the net. I was free within the hour, just in time to spring out of the pit and give the men who had come to kill me a nasty surprise. And so, that is the story of how I, the queen of the jungle, came to respect those who respect me, no matter how small they might be. Because sometimes the smallest of those among us have the advantage over the mighty and the strong. Now that's a lovely story of respect, I think. Really shows it very nicely. Now I want you to have a little think this week about how you show others respect. What do you do that is lovely and respectful? Maybe if you're in school, you might be thinking right this minute, what are you doing that is respectful? Have you sat lovely and quietly when you've been asked to? Have you helped somebody when they've um, asked you to help them? Have you done your work and shown lovely respect by doing it beautifully and presenting it nicely? If you're at home, how are you showing respect to your parents or your siblings or your grandparents? Okay, we're gonna say a prayer, close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for showing us respect every day. Thank you for caring for us and thank you for showing us how to be kind and to show respect for others and to learn, like the lion did, how to be respectful. Amen. I will see you all next week for our final assembly. Bye.